Well, let's have a look first at the impact of the new Russian sanctions. Russia facing a swathe of sanctions against its banks, its gas pipeline to Europe and individuals with close links to Vladimir Putin. President Joe Biden of the United States announced Washington's response to what he described as the invasion of Ukraine, which those sanctions coming on top of uh, others imposed after Moscow annexed Crimea eight years ago. Joe Biden warns that more could be around the corner. The European Union has also announced sanctions which will target Russian individuals and entities connected with the decision to recognize the independence of separatist-controlled areas of eastern Ukraine. The UK, Canada, Japan and Australia have all followed suit. Well, Jason Hungerford is a partner at the global law firm Meyer Brown and is also an expert on trade sanctions. Thank you very much for being with us today, Jason. How would you characterize the scale of the sanctions that the Russian government and Russian businesses and banks uh, are dealing with today? Well, it's certainly an escalation. Um, I, I, it's, a, it's a forceful shot across the bow, I would say. Um, whether it will have a major impact on the Russian economy, I think, is doubtful. But as every world leader who announced sanctions yesterday said, this is a, this is a first step. It is, it is a, a clear communication uh, to the Russian president. When you look at the fact, Jason, that most of the banks which have been targeted, most but not all, most of them are, are smaller banks, they're less significant to the Russian financial system. Are they trying, though, to build a picture of what a world could look like if uh, the bigger banks were targeted as well? Right. Absolutely. So as, as you note, a number of those banks are, are sort of niche, second-tier banks, with the exception of, of VEB, which is significant. Uh, it, is, it is a sign of things to come. It is, it is if, if, the res if the situation is not resolved or de-escalated, there's more to come uh, targeting more significant banks and likely the energy sector. Do you sense that there will be a hesitance, though, to go after anything or anything else which could impact the supply of uh, gas or oil coming out of Russia? I mean, yes, we heard about Germany uh, suspending the certification of the Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline, but of course that's not operational yet. So that's not affecting today's supplies. Uh, and, and I expect there will be a, probably a hesitance to do that. Would that be right? I, I think you're right. I mean, there, 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 there are two angles to this. I mean, one is that this isn't simply simply Europe's card to play. Um, it is also Russians, given the given the impact that withholding Russian gas supplies would have on on Europe, just as the lack of income would have would would, would have on Russia. The other implication is that is that Western companies are tied up with. Russia's oil and gas sector. It is it is a significant source of opportunity for them, and so there is a collateral impact on on Western businesses by sanctioning uh, the Russian oil and gas sector. Sure thing. Okay, Jason Hungerford, thank you very much for joining us today.